gym after cutting this 20 minute breakdown of game five at Oracle Arena last night. Um, man, it's, first thing I'll say is, man, we've been spoiled as Warrior fans and I'm kind of ashamed in my fandom and how weak I am when we face adversity. And you know, it's just, just like the Warrior players themselves, right? Us fans, we've grown accustomed to expecting to win and dominate and just showing up, right? And so we're not used to this over this last four or five year run. Um, but that being said, the devil's in the details, and it's not just that they lost, it's how they lost. And if you've watched the camaraderie or the lack thereof that in chemistry between the four stars in particular, it's very troubling. We all know all the talk behind the team, Durant, Draymond, Clay's a free agent. Like there's so many side stories and details. And I think what you saw in particular with Draymond last night, he wasn't that mad at the referees. He was upset with Steph Curry. He was upset with Steph Curry and his lack of aggression. And if you pay attention, if you go back and watch some of this, I know many of you don't want to, I don't blame you. A lot of the time, Draymond's very patient with the ball and he waits for Steph to get open. He wasn't as patient last night. You saw him jack up the two for one, pull up three, took a couple of bad mid-range shots. And I think part of that was one, he realized, yo, Steph's not really fighting to get open. And two, it was kind of passive aggressively letting Steph know like, fuck you then, I'll shoot it. I know you don't want me shooting it, but I will because you ain't. And so I think he had a little bit of misplaced anger and aggression towards the referees in that blow up. Now the referees, I'd love to just sit here and say like, that's not part of the story. Obviously that's part of the story. And my theme through my breakdown this morning was keep that same energy. It started in Minnesota with taunting and it's really been a storyline all year with how aggressive the Warriors have acted towards the referees, showing them up and frankly, not treating them like human beings. They make terrible calls, right? And they are, they, they, it is, it's frustrating. But you have to understand it's an accumulation. They're not gonna forget what happened in Minnesota. And so you're seeing the repercussions of that with some of these calls, like the four point play, uh, the charge on Clay Thompson, go back and look at that. Beverly was, his, he moved his foot again. Clay was already in the air. He already had his knee up in the air and his layup motion. Um, but it was hard for me to get too upset about those calls because frankly, they didn't deserve it. Now, I felt like this in this run, there's been times where I'm like, yo, this ain't it. This ain't our year, we are gonna collapse, this ain't happening. I felt like this before and I've been wrong, but this year it feels different, right? Warrior fans, it feels different. Um, but all we can do is remind ourselves the privilege that we've had being on this run, continue to support them and hope for the best. I'm here trying to make this turn on this green light and I got this old lady just hawking up the lane, man. She cruising across the crosswalk. I made it though. But all we can do is hope for the best, right? And just keep watching. Now, are they gonna make it out of this first round? Yeah, I would I would hope so. I will say that when these these dynasties do end, they kind of end abruptly and shocking, right? So you can't take anything for granted. I assume we're getting out of this round now. Is there gonna be a casualty of war in this game six? Is someone gonna turn an ankle? Is someone gonna bang a knee? That's that's the real thing that I'm concerned about. It's not necessarily playing the game. It's, the, it's another risk of injury, especially to our older players. But the, here's the thing with this Houston series. And I'll, be, I'll keep it a, a complete buck with y'all. I'm fine if we don't 3 P. Of course, who, who, who am I to say? Of course, we all gotta be fine. I'm just saying, I'm willing to accept that. What will be very hard for me to accept is to see the Rockets beat them. That's how much uh, I dislike them, okay? So I really like, yo, if it's Toronto, if it's Boston, if it's Portland and Dane, anybody but Houston, I really wanna beat Houston. Um, even though that shouldn't be the end game. And, you know, the writing's on the wall, and I know a lot of people are picking Houston in this series, especially given what's taking place in this first round. But if you really pay attention, now, I've been all over Twitter just killing Utah, and I think rightfully so. And I'll speak more on the Donovan Mitchell thing 
and their problems at another time. But Houston doesn't look that good. Houston doesn't look that good. I'm not a numbers guy. I'm not going to point to the percentages. And yes, the oh, you know, you can go look at the numbers and tell as well. But they don't look great. It's not last year's team. Now, if we were heading into this matchup against last year's Rockets team, I think they take us out. I think they take us out. This year's, neither the Rockets or the Warriors, I think, are as strong as they were a season ago. So, and here's the one thing that I'll say about that matchup is, I think Houston will have their attention every night. So you, a lot of the times you see it at all levels of sports where a team comes out overconfident or arrogant, not respecting the opponent, not having a healthy fear, and they get jumped on and they're never able to recover. I think if we're fortunate enough to make it to this second round with the Rockets, we're not going to see that. If the Rockets beat them, it's going to be square up. Hopefully there's no injuries from either side, right? But I don't think we're going to see – We there, there can't be that excuse of, oh, they didn't take them serious. They're not motivated. This is the rivalry, the marquee rivalry in the NBA now. Hopefully we still get it and hopefully we get all we asked for. And man, I want to take them out. I want to take them out. Anyway, this was a quick hitter. I spent so much time and energy on my patron videos. I'm not able to hit you with as many YouTube and other other format videos, but I still wanted to touch base with all of my followers and Warrior Nation about where my head's at and uh, what I think moving forward. I'm out, y'all.